think all of these train tracks around Vancouver Island that are not in use is so freaking cool. Like, I want to go down there and find out what's down there. Well, you can't go that way. There are signs that say danger. What's behind the danger sign? The little, the little teenager in me is like, ah, I need to go find out. That, and that's a park boundary. You can't go there. But you can't go that way. There's no signs that way they say you can't go. What's down there? Maybe when we come back from our summer travels, something fun to do next year is maybe go around this island and find all the big train trestles because there is a bunch of them out here and we can walk across those train trestles fingers crossed for safety without the fear of a train coming over there and making you jump off the edge it's pretty damn awesome and i think that might be a might be a little fun adventure <laughs> for us good morning everybody uh welcome to another everyday video here on van city van life where you guys get to watch my van life unfold and just my crazy life in general how long are the everyday videos gonna last i don't know <laughs> let's aim for 30 days i used to do videos every day 365 days a year sorry 360 days is the longest i've lasted before i you know <laughs> skipped a couple <laughs> welcome to today's video first stop in my day is i'm going to get a passport photo done because any opportunity i've had to go anywhere i can't i ain't got a passport so that's number one on the agenda this morning well number two i have to go to my new shop and grab a battery because one of our subscribers in nanaimo bought an sok battery from us and we are going to deliver it to her this morning Welcoming committee. Hi, buddy. It's always nice coming to the shop and having a welcoming committee, buddy. How are you? All right. We picked up all the bins we're going to need to uh, make that all look awesome. We got some more tables from Uline. That is the mechanics tool chests. Lots of exciting stuff going down here in the next couple of weeks. Hopefully everything will be all set up and done. That way when my daughter comes out here, this place will look super awesome and I'm really excited to kind of... Oh, oh, oh it smells so good. Oh, I plug those in. It smells amazing. We could probably turn them down a little bit. They were on high. This whole place smells awesome. That way when my daughter comes out, she can see the little empire that we're building over here. Oh, it's strong in here. <laughs> the same one's on the same one. It's on high. We can turn this way down. Let's grab a quick shower here before we head to town. I put laundry in here yesterday and it's probably wrinkly. Put a Bluetooth speaker in here so we can party while we shower. What are we gonna rock out to? Molly Crew? Let's get it. Sorry, no shower soon today. I seen in the last video that there was probably 30 comments. Hey Chrome, why don't you have a washer dryer in your shop? Well, of course we got a washer dryer in the shop. If we got water, we got drainage, and we got electricity, <laughs> it's a no brainer. There's still a lot of work to be done in here. <laughs> and clearly all this stuff needs to be cleared out. Maybe later today we'll come back in here, but I'm not sure. It depends on what time all my friends are coming out because we have, uh, Quite the adventurous weekend coming and I don't know if they're coming out today or tomorrow morning. If they're coming out tomorrow morning, then we'll get some of this stuff done today. Or right now, I don't know. <laughs> we might be all out camping tonight for all I know. It's been a really, really long time since I've had a passport picture done and we're doing it at a local drugstore. And I don't know why you just can't take passport pictures yourself. It's just a really bad picture. <laughs> really bad picture. <laughs> Look, that ear sits different than that ear. What's wrong with me? <laughs> what is that, buddy? That's the rug for upstairs, bro. And I got you something, too. I got crazy a doggy bed. Got you something for upstairs just for you, buddy. I did. I did. 
So I just heard from Jeffy Bear. He's coming over here because he needs to plug himself in and charge up his batteries and stuff like that. So I guess he's been draining his batteries quite a bit, like sometimes fully shutting his battery system off. So I think his electric wheelchair is pulling more power than he thinks. So when he comes here today, we're going to plug in his electric chair, find out exactly how many watts it's pulling and how much of his house battery system gets drained just to charge his wheelchair. So he's gonna pop by here pretty soon. And while we're waiting, we're gonna open up some of these because we got the, uh, the tool chest for the lift bay. Wheels on these things are <laughs> quite awesome. All right, that's one bench. Oh, it's gonna look slick in here. All right. This knife is so sharp. Cruzy's outside living his best life right now. How you doing, buddy? Hey, how's the sunshine, Cruzy? How's the sunshine, bro? <laughs> he doesn't mess around at all. And man, are these tool chests ever gonna look awesome. This one is awesome. This is the top of the cabinet. Oh, so cool. Look who that is. Jeffy! Nice to see you come visit, bro. Hello. What's up, bud? Man, you got lots of leg room in here. <laughs> oh, easy now, easy now. <laughs> and we got a helper. Thanks, Emily. Okay. Alright, we're gonna find out what Jeffy's thing's pulling. 292 watts. So if your alternator was bringing in 292 watts, yeah. then literally it would just charge your chair and okay. nothing would come back to your batteries, pretty much. You know, okay. either or, right? Yeah, yeah. One of the batteries will end up taking it. Okay. But 292 is a big pull. So we figured it out for watt hours with his batteries. He would get 17 hours of charging on the wheelchair if uh, he left it plugged in for 17 hours straight or two days of that with very little driving, you'd crush those batteries, okay. right? That's probably what happened. Yeah. And it used a solar calculator, converted 206 amp hours, which is one of his batteries, 2,472 watt hours. We times that by two, which gave us the calculation of 17.04 hours of charging. Right? So if you didn't have a problem on your drive out here, you were probably topping up all day long. Yeah, long okay. drives, those batteries would be constantly full. Yeah. So I, th I think on that one, just I would, I would charge, because I wouldn't leave it on overnight, because if this thing doesn't shut off yeah. and that's full, it's just going to keep pulling power okay. and not going okay. anywhere, right? Okay. okay. So have you, did, you, did you just plug it in at night? Yep. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And then I've been, because I have noticed the power is going. So when I go for a piss, I double check that. So if it's, if, it's, if that orange light is close to the yellow light, then I pull the plug and yeah. I turn that off. Yeah. But it could be like, you know. Because, yeah, now all it takes is you not driving much during the day to top off your house. Yeah. Because 400 amp hours is a lot of pull. That's a, that's a lot to fill. Okay. You know what I mean? Yeah, from from I your alternator, it's a, that's not going to be no four-hour drive. That'll be a chunk of time. <laughs> you know what I mean? I figured that. Yeah. That one's centered with the middle bay. The four post lift comes in next week. We'll be right there. That'll be right on the front side of it. And we're leaving a fair chunk of room in front of the lift. So there'll probably be about that much room, enough for us to get a forklift through there and a pallet just in case we need to move stuff through it all. <sighs> now we got to put all that stuff away. Wait till Lauren gets back and sees all this. He's gonna be like, what? <laughs> oh, let's go. How do you choose that? 
Look at that. Wow. Oh, like they belong there. Shut the front door. You freaking serious? Whoo! Yeah, boy! We need more. Come on, we need more tools. <laughs> This is so satisfying. Let's pull both these out together. <laughs> that is a ton of organization. <laughs> Are we gonna fill them all? Not yet anyway. So the plan for all this here as you can tell down here, some of these have labels right there on the front. So I know that's my X-Tool laser. That's also another part of the X-Tool laser. This is some uh, recovery gear, camera gear and stuff. But that's the plan with all this stuff is just to start adding little things. So I might do like a, like a paint bin for like fine paintbrushes, something for like maybe sandpaper. Uh, this one will be like all my polishing stuff. So taking all the polishing stuff out of here, throwing it in all in one. That way, if we're ever doing a polishing thing on a vehicle, we can just kind of take the bin out and take it with us. But yeah, so, and I would like to leave all this stuff for valuable stuff. So stuff that we're going to need on a daily basis all the time. It's a quick grab. But uh, now that we've got all this space in here, I want to make sure that we have tons of extra storage just to keep things out of sight so we don't have to see things like my last shop being spewed out all over the place. So we're gonna fit all of this stuff in the cabinets there, in here, and all you see in the new mechanics chest. Check this out again. Dude, I gotta stare at this again. This is a flipping epic. <laughs> so good. Up here along this wall here, so we've been playing around with some design ideas. So Tress redid the design, put the four post lift in the middle. So that wall back there will have a giant vantoys.com down the wall with all the brands that we sell all the way across here. And my plan is this little banner of brands I would like to do around the entire perimeter in here. So everything that's on the Van Toy store will be listed in the bottom section, giantvantoys.com above there. And then we're still trying to do, decide what to do above my workbench area here. So Tress created these little banners that said VT for van toys and just threw our uh, like a van in the middle. So we're still trying to figure out this side, but I'll probably put the actual van toys logo there, which is the van and it says vantoys.com. And then I do like the idea of having something red up here. So I think we're gonna try to figure out somehow to do that, just not the VT. It's cool though, but uh, yeah, I think, I think this place is gonna to come together nicely. Yes. That will okay. fit me. I got Van City Van Life. I have the What's Up Weirdos long sleeve. Didn't you get one of those? You got one of those? No. So I have the What's Up Weirdos long sleeve, I think. I don't know about the avenue size. Van City Van Life long sleeve and the What's Up Weirdos t-shirt. Okay. All right, let's find out. What do we got? Van City Van Life long sleeve. Jebby. Van City Van Life Long Sleeve 3X. Oh, I missed. What's up, weirdos? Uh-oh. This says right here, 1X, 2X, 3X, 4X. There's only 2X and 1X up here. Jeff, you might be out of luck on those ones. 5X. 1X, 2X, 2X. What's the 3X? What's up, weirdos? 3X. That's a 2X. I got something in my eye. Yeah, I'm sure you do. What's up, Cruzy? He's like, what are you doing up there, Dad? How'd you get up there, Dad? Three X? Yeah. Cruzy got it. It's all good. Hello? Hey, I'm up here picking out some shirts for Jeffy. There's a box here that says misprints. Yeah, don't use them yet. Okay. Sorry. That's okay. I was, I, I was pulling from everything else, trying to find what's up here in a three X for Jeffy. And yeah, seats. don't use those ones yet. Okay. Brand new on the store right now. Van City Van Life. Weirdo Army. Poop in a bucket. What's up, weirdos? Home is where you park it. 
Cruise the Bulldog. You need a Vansity Van Life one? I'll give him a couple of those. One, two, three. Looks good on you, bro. It does, thank you. It's weird to see your arms covered. Usually you're like V-neck, half cut, arms off, showing off the muscles. Gets a shirt, rips the sleeves off right away. Yo, cuts the neck so we all can see like the chest. He's like, yeah, ladies, let's get it. Oh, it's good, man. It does look good. Handles for anything? I got white ones and I got a chrome one. These are from my uh, my cabinets over there because some of them have rolling yeah. things. I'll, I won't use them. I probably wouldn't put it on the ceiling, man. That thing better be pretty secure to be pulled on. No, I know. That's what I'm saying. I don't think so. Well, that's where Emily's sleeping right back there tonight, right behind the shop. You're my shop fan. We see you. The shirts are really good. I like them. Mm -hmm. Now, those are that What's Up Weirdos ones, one of my favorite uh -huh. ones. That What's Up Weirdos one's my favorite. Yeah, it seems to be really good. Yeah, I like that one. It is. Grizzly, beep, beep. <laughs> no problem, buddy. I'll see you in the morning. Oh, I, I harjin them won't be here till around probably. They, they're they going to Costco in the morning before they come, so they'll probably be here at 10. Grizzly, you can't go in there, buddy. Turn on the lights. Hey, bro. That's it. That's it, baby. That's all she wrote. Is that a little hook? Yeah, I made that. Nice. So I can do shit like this. Just hook the door? Yeah. Oh, because. Yeah. Awesome. Good night, bro. <laughs> Everybody's sleeping outside the shop here tonight. I didn't get as much progress done in here as I thought today, but damn, it's looking good. It's, I'm so glad we did the white because it really brings down some brightness down here because everything over there is so dark on the bottom side with my red and my black. These are just, well, they're a little cheerful, kind of nice. All right. kind of cool to have Jeffy Bear back around. He's such <laughs> he's such an awesome dude. So we got a uh, big big couple days planned coming up tonight. We're going to get some rest because tomorrow morning the Sarkozy's are coming out. We got a great big day of adventure and camping tomorrow. Man, we got like <laughs> it'll be like jet fuel and gasoline all day. You'll have to come back and check out what we have in store. It should be an absolute blast. And because I'm back to filming every single day, y'all coming with me 100%. Hey, buddy, you want some treats? Come here, Grizzy. Give me a bud. There you go, bro. You're a very good boy today, buddy. Yeah, you're a good boy. Jeffy's a damn inspiration to all of us to know that the world can knock you down, take away your ability to walk, and it doesn't matter because he's still living in his damn van, living his best life, not letting any limitations get in the way. And if something does get in the way, <laughs> Jeffy's is going to run over it. I, I'm very inspired by that guy. I first met Jeff in Vancouver when I very first started living in my van when my YouTube channel was this small. 
and uh, he was living in a big RV at the time. And then he shifted from the RV into a van because the RV was hard to get to doctor's appointments and stuff. He couldn't drive to the hospital in the RV because there's no parking for RVs. So that's when me and Jeff kind of became friends. And then we started to help Jeff, Jeff out along the years. And then just recently, you guys got that man a van and put him back on the road. So guys, once again, I want to say thank you to everybody that made Jeff's van life dream come back to life. It is so awesome to see him out there ripping around, just living in that van. I just stood there at the end of the day today watching him go to bed and just kind of get situated and plug in his chair and stuff like that. Ah, so freaking awesome. I can't wait to take you guys out on our big adventure tomorrow. It'll be an absolute freaking blast. And uh, we got Jeffy's electrical figured out. So Jeff had messaged me quite a few times over the last couple weeks saying, Chrome, my house batteries died. So in the back of Jeff's van, he has 400 amp hours of SOK batteries back there. And he was like, look, my, my batteries died. The whole house just went out, lights out last night he didn't figure out why well today we realized that his wheelchair is pulling 300 watts of power and he plugs it in and goes to bed at night so it's just draining the house so we're not sure and we'll have to experiment with it we're not sure if the wheelchair charger still pulls 300 watts even if the wheelchair is at 100 percent so we've kind of figured out a little bit of a way for jeff to kind of get around from leaving it plugged in at night and uh, hopefully things work out there for him. But uh, that thing pulls pulls a fair chunk of power. So if you're in a wheelchair out there roaming around, um, Jeff will probably talk about this on his channel. But I told him as a suggestion, maybe plug your chair in while you drive every time. So I always tell people this when they're using portable power. Plug in your cigarette lighter, charge your portable batteries while you drive, unplug it, and then every time you drive, those batteries get a little extra push of power. I said, do that with your wheelchair, Jeff. Every time you drive, plug it in, do your drive, unplug it. That way, even if it's five minutes of a drive, that's five minutes that that wheelchair will get full power back from the alternator. You know what I mean? You might as well make use of that power and save on your house batteries for living. So we'll see how this stuff all works out. Anyway, guys, um, thanks for riding along with me on another Everyday Van Life video here on Van City Van Life. And I'm actually stoked that we're back making everyday videos. And uh, I'll see you guys in the morning, all right? <laughs> Peace out. Keep your double Vs up, baby. And I'll talk to you guys in the next one.